Welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you're new. Today I'm sharing some disaster cleaning motivation. My house was very, very messy as you can see. This week was our first week back at school and homeschooling. We do kind of half and half so it was a very busy week for us and the house definitely reflects that busy week so we're going to take some time and pull it back together. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Becky. I'm a wife and mom to three little ones, five and under. My oldest will actually be six in October and we are expecting our fourth in April 2024. On my channel, I share real life, mom life, cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. If that sounds like something you would enjoy, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's do this. I'm starting today by just showing you around and sharing everything I plan to tackle. The first thing I'm going to do is tackle this main living area, my living room, dining table, and kitchen. After we are done in this area, we will be moving into my kids' bedroom. As you know, if you've been here for a while, my three kids share one bedroom and it can get very, very messy in there. Because of all of the craziness this week, this video was filmed periodically between two days. It was very very stop and go and picking up where I left off between drop-offs and homeschooling. We had a couple of appointments. I had to visit the new house because we had an estimate for a fence to be put up hopefully by the end of this year but if not early next year. I just felt like I accidentally scheduled and piled everything into this one week and fortunately we managed to get everything done with some scheduling changes. It all ended up working out of course but I am happy that I I have moved on since then because it was just so chaotic and I felt like my house was falling apart. When it was over, I was able to reel it back in and clean up this space. Of course, I clean throughout every day regardless. These are just daily messes that end up happening from the kids playing in the living room, taking toys out, making snack after snack after snack in the kitchen, and just living in our home. I would consider my home a very normal lived in house and I hope nobody ever makes you feel otherwise. There are some channels here on YouTube or even some people in the comments. People have left comments on my videos before basically asking me why my home is so messy, telling me how to maintain a clean home, telling me that my kids should be cleaning up after themselves, and just all around putting not only me but others who read those comments down. If your home is similar to mine, I just want you to know that having a messy lived-in house is normal and everything you see on YouTube isn't always as it is. If you see a perfectly clean house and somebody seems to just have it all together, please do not compare yourself because you may not see the whole picture. They may have help in many different aspects of life. Here on my channel, I try to show you real life, mom life. These are real messes around my house that happen on a daily basis. And of course, my kids help clean up, but I also don't make my kids be on camera if they don't want to. You will occasionally see them run in and out, and they may help me clean here and there, but like I said, I don't force them to be on camera. All of that to say, I guess it's just important to normalize normal houses. Don't get down on yourself for something that you see online. Years ago, before I started my YouTube channel, I used to watch YouTube videos from others and think to myself, why can't I do that? Why am I not as good as they are? Why can they keep their home so clean and I can't? I would think there was something wrong with me. I would try and try and try and I just couldn't do it for some reason. And then it occurred to me that I just shouldn't compare myself. So if you are doing the comparison thing, let me just tell you, stop right now and just do you and be proud of yourself. As you can see, I've started to wipe everything down. Hazel got this dollhouse for her birthday and I don't plan on it being right here in the living room forever. I briefly mentioned how we are moving. If you've been here for a while, you already know that we are building. I planned on our house being done sometime in October. Everything was moving very fast. However, everything has slowed way down. I feel like we won't be moving in until like January 2024 at this point. The builder has 
assured me that we will most likely be in the house by the end of this year. I really want to have Christmas in the new house. I feel like it would just be such a homey way to move into a new home and really make it our own, decorate for the holidays, and just really have that fun, special holiday feeling in the new house. If it doesn't work out that way, that's okay. I only mention all of that because that dollhouse will actually be in Hazel's room in the new house. So for now, it's in the living room. We have no more space in this house. We have completely run out. As you know from the kids being all in one bedroom, the homeschool, playroom, game room, all being jumbled up in one room, and a new baby on the way, it's definitely feeling a bit crowded in here, and we are very excited to have more space for our growing family. All right, I feel like I've been talking for a very long time, so I'm sorry if I'm talking your ear off, but I'm going to vacuum the floor and the couch, then move into the kitchen.
first thing I'm doing in the kitchen is just picking everything up similar to how I did in the living room and where our kitchen table is. Once everything is picked up, I'll go ahead and wipe down all of the surfaces, including the range, the oven, the microwave, the dishwasher. The only thing I don't get done in here is the dishes. I did have to go pick up my oldest son, so I had to stop what I was doing, go pick him up, and then I made dinner and there was more dishes, so I didn't end up doing the dishes until later that night. And I did those off camera because I was tired, I've had a long day, I'm 10 weeks pregnant, I'll be 11 weeks pregnant on Monday, and the exhaustion is no joke this time around, so I just got those dishes done and went right to bed. This is so random, but does it drive anybody else nuts when somebody puts a used eggshell back in the carton? It just drives me nuts. I have no idea why, but Rob did that and you could see my face of just annoyance. I just don't understand why. Just put it in the garbage. I probably wouldn't be so dramatic if I wasn't pregnant. In fact, it probably wouldn't bother me at all, but here we are. <laughs> If you have any small pet peeves like that, I want to know what they are. Let me know in the comments below. All right, that is as far as we are getting in the kitchen. It's the next day, we are in my kid's bedroom. It is a total disaster in here. It is mostly clothes. On top of the dresser is clean. On the floor, I know my son's, my youngest son, Wyatt, his pants are clean because he took them all out of the drawer and threw them all over the room. So I know at least those are clean. Everything else I'm considering dirty because I just don't know. It is just pure chaos in here, so what I'm going to do is pick up the floor first so I can at least walk around without stepping on anything. Then I'm actually going to go off camera because I know a lot of you do not like watching a giant pile of laundry be folded and put away. I am the same way, laundry folding and putting away is a little bit boring so I'm going to do that off camera. Then come back once I am done. The laundry that's on the dresser is not the only laundry. Once I am ready to go off camera, I will show you everything that needs to be folded and put away. Before I do so, like I said, it is a mountain. So once I'm done with that, we will go back on camera and we will finish cleaning up the space, change all of the sheets and make it nice and tidy in here.
here is the laundry on the dresser that needs to be folded. I'm leaving the hangers on the ground because I'm sure there will be plenty of shirts that need to be hung up and there is no reason to put them back in the closet only to take them back out. Now we are going in my living room. The kids are eating fruit on the floor and doing a puzzle. As you can see, this is the pile of laundry on my couch. So I'm going to turn my camera off, get all of this laundry done and put away. And this is what the room looks like once all of the laundry is put away. I told you at the beginning it was majority clothes, but now that that is done, we can finish picking up in here and change all of their sheets. The last thing I'm going to do in here is vacuum. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it gave you some motivation and inspiration to have a positive and productive day. If you did enjoy it, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for being here and watching. I will see you in the next one. You can also go check out my second channel, Life with Becky, where I share more than just cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. I hope to see you there.